and hundreds of youth who are Sunday arrested in Nyeri in a police operation targeting suspected supporters of former Mungiki leader Maina Njenga who were planning to hold a rally at the Kibiroide grounds in Nyeri town. Several vehicles were also impounded at various roadblocks mounted along major roads leading to Nyeri since Saturday. Njenga himself never made it to the venue of the rally which remained under lock and key all day long and heavily grounded off by police officers. Our reporter David Muthoka reported reports from Nyeri on the aborted mine in Jenga's rally and the tension that gripped Nyeri town on Sunday. This was the situation on all roads leading into and out of Nyeri town on Sunday. Police officers who have been pitching camp at this roadblock since Saturday to ensure that former Mungiki leader Maina Njenga and his supporters do not attend their planned rally at the Kafiruini showgrounds, checked everyone and everything entering or leaving the town. Nothing was left to chance and no one was spared from the check. Some road users, who probably were not Maina Njenga's supporters but may have committed other road offences, also found themselves on the wrong side of the law. Around Nyeri town, random patrols by officers in lorries, land cruisers and plain clothes were witnessed. Some of the officers had been drawn from neighboring counties and some from as far as Nairobi. The operation led to the arrest of at least 250 youth by midday. At almost 1,000 of Meshikwa, I was able to get a lot of money from the government. Several cars were also impounded. The youth, suspected to be supporters of Maina Njenga, attending the former Mungiki leader's Thanksgiving ceremony, will be locked up at the Nyeri Central Police Station until Tuesday. We have come here as a Maombi, and we have come here as a Maina Njenga, and we have come all day long, the Kafiru in the grounds remained locked and deserted, save for these few police officers tasked with ensuring that no one steps foot on the ground. The crackdown operation is expected to go until late into the night, not just on roads and the rally's venue, but also in entertainment joints and churches within Nyeri that have not been licensed to host New Year crossover party. Reports indicate that the police officers are under clear instructions to arrest Njenga should he surface. The former Mungiki leader today remained under the police radar. His phone was switched off all day and so are the phones of his close aides to avoid police detection. Sources in Njenga's circle have intimated to KTN News that the Mount Kenya politician was forced to postpone his rally to a later date at a different location. It remains to be seen when and where and how the government will move to thwart his future plans. For more than 36 hours, roadblocks remained erected across major roads leading into and out of Nyeri town, all to ensure that former Mungiki leader Maina Njenga or his supporters do not make their way to the Kafiruini showgrounds where Njenga had expected to hold a mega rally. David Muthoka, KTN News from Nyeri County. Meanwhile, top leaders are